With an initial England squad being announced a few weeks ago now, I thought I'd make my start in 15 from the names that Eddie Jones has selected. Of course, this doesn't include any British and Irish Lions players or Premiership playoff players. So let's get straight into it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe. We just hit 60 subscribers, so we're on the road to 100. If you can subscribe, that would be great. Cheers. Ellis Genge is currently one of the most experienced players in the initial England squad. He is yet to solidify himself as a starter and this summer series could be a great way for him to do that. If Genge can keep his head screwed on and provide the team with that knowledge and experience, he could get some real brownie points from Eddie Jones. With Jack Singleton being ruled out of the squad due to Covid reasons, the young Jamie Blamier seems to be the front runner at hooker. Newcastle Falcons coach Dean Richards praised the young hooker last year when signing a new contract, saying he was very dangerous with ball in hand and a real desire to improve, something that Eddie is very keen on. Paul Hill previously made the England team back in 2016, where Jones was coach. He's now back in the side after an impressive Premiership campaign with Northampton Saints. Hill is a standout tight head prop in this side and therefore choosing him is a no-brainer. Charlie Yules is another one of the few names in the squad who have previous experience with England and that's why I'm backing him to start or even to captain the side much like he did at under 20 level. I think Yules is pretty nailed on so got to have some experience in there. The 6 foot 5, 19 stone second row has been a real force for Leicester this season as they continue to improve under fellow second row coach Steve Borthwick. Borthwick used to coach under Eddie Jones in the England setup and he may have passed on some knowledge to Harry Wells. He's been a regular for Leicester for four years now so he has some decent experience. Unbelievably, Ted Hill is still only 22. The Worcester captain has flirted with Eddie Jones' England squads a few times before. Although Worcester have had a poor season, Hill has always been the standout performer, showcasing his defensive capabilities, which is a strong part of England's game. Another one of the rare experienced players in this England squad, Sam Underhill is a familiar face for England fans. Underhill is still only 24 years old, so that there is plenty of life left in his England career. His injuries have made him very unlucky this season to miss out on the Six Nations and the British and Irish Lions squad, albeit Underhill has the chance to prove his quality once again this summer. Tom Willis, younger brother to Jack Willis of course, has had a superb run of games recently for Wasps scoring a hat-trick in what is greatest ever comeback against London Irish. Willis is in fact only 22 years old, extremely young for a number 8. But this adds to the existing youngsters on England's back row, like Curry and Underhill. He can also play flanker, which is another big asset. Scrum half was a tough decision for me, as it is the most competitive position something England aren't used to recently. I've picked Ben Spencer however as he's had another great season with Bath and he provides a little more experience and control as opposed to Mitchell and Robson. So for me Spencer is this summer's number one. There isn't a plethora of tens in this initial England squad especially with the playoff teams not yet being introduced. I imagine Marcus Smith will come in and walk straight into the team. However, he's currently in the playoffs, so I've picked Jacob Umaga, another youngster who's impressed for Wasps, who can add a different style of play to what England are used to. Joe Cook and a singer is another player with experience in an England camp, and I expect this to play in his favour this summer. He hasn't played a great deal of games this season, 
However, he has age on his side and I expect him to run in tries against the US and Canada. Dan Kelly has only recently turned 20 years old, a crazy stat for an inside centre starting for Leicester Tigers. With the Leicester's resurgence this season, it's brought new players through and made them really shine and Kelly is certainly one of those players. Fraser Dingwall has previously been in and around the England's camp under Eddie Jones. The former under-20 captain has impressed once again at Northampton and provides a solid, mature head in the midfield, especially for a young guy. Adam Radwan has had a prolific breakthrough season with Newcastle, scoring an impressive seven tries. There are multiple options for the wing in this England side, such as Hassel Collins and Josh Bassett. However, I think Radwan deserves the start as he was previously playing in the championship. Impressive in my opinion. Another contentious position with fullback. I could have picked De Glanville, Parton or Stewart. But I have gone with Stewart because he seems like a very safe player, an attribute which Eddie Jones really likes. Whereas De Glanville and Parton, I believe, are more flair players, in my opinion. So that's the starting 15 that I think would play for England if the British and Irish Lions and the playoff players weren't in camp. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.